What's up guys, it's Colin Mack. We're here with KUCR at NAM 2024. I'm here with Oscar at the Synthesizer V Studio booth. Oscar, tell me a little bit about your product and what you got going on here. All right, perfect. Uh, so this is Synthesizer V. It's a vocal synthesis software. And what we can do with this software is so that we can create uh, vocals from scratch using uh, an AI database of a uh, singer that we hired to create voice banks for. Uh, the AI is fully ethical. We uh, make sure that the uh, the person that we hire gets paid, obviously, and they also get royalties for the for the purchase of the voice bank that they have uh, provided their data to. Uh, and what we can do with that, with their data, is that we can write down a melody. We can input the lyrics on that melody, and then the vocal, the AI vocal themselves will sing that for you. It'll generate the pitch line. It'll generate the uh, the basically the phonemes, and you can render that and put it into your software as a backup vocal or as a vocal that you can reference for other singers to use. Uh, so if you're a producer for an artist, this will be a one great applicable way of using it. And uh, if you have your own personal project and you, if you just need a voice, this would be the right software for that as well. Awesome. So who would you say your target audience is here? Just producers? or? Yes. Uh, producers would be one of the biggest ones. Uh, well, And also singer-songwriters who just need a voice. Uh, there's also uh, well, people who are just starting on music and don't, doesn't have as much reach for like vocal providers, uh, have them having their own software to create their own uh, work will empower their, uh, their their creative workflow in regards to that. Yeah. Would you say it's uh, very easy to use or is it more difficult? It is very intuitive. It actually surprised me. I've actually been using vocal synthesis software for almost a decade now. I was here since the Vocaloid days, Hatsune Miku. And, uh, and uh, we're finally getting to a point where English vocal synthesis has been sounding really, really good now. And th like this really is like the pinnacle of vocal synthesis software, and uh, it's as easy as pulling in like uh, writing MIDI lines, uh, like a uh, like a like a MIDI melody, literally like typing in the lyrics, pressing play. That's it. Uh, and not only that, we also have ways of inputting your voice in here. Well, more like uh, the, your uh, pitch in there. So if you want to do vocal to MIDI. Uh, if you're not that good on the piano roll, you can hum it out and sing it out, and then you'll be able to type in your vocals in there as well, or your lyrics, yeah. So how did you incorporate AI into this product? All right, so when it comes to that, uh, so uh, the singers that we hire in Eclipse Sounds, uh, we instead of uh, recording phonemes and put it, matching them together via samples, we have data, we use their singing as uh, the, uh, the data pool for uh, for the synth, for the engine to turn into other lyrics and words, and that's what we reference for when we uh, use a specific voice bank and, and write down the lyrics for them. Is now is this its own program or is this something that like you'd add on to a separate DAW? Uh, it, it can be both actually. Uh, so Synthesizer V is standalone, and it also is a VST that you can put into your your uh, your DAW. Uh, and uh, it'll it's pretty flexible in any kind of workflow that you have. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, would you be able to demonstrate? Yeah, actually, uh, the only issue is that I know you got a mic, but we have headphones here. There's so much loudness stuff here. But, I could uh, probably put it in like, between the headphones, that'll probably work. Oh, one more question before yeah. you demonstrate. How many voices do you guys already have in the bank? Oh man, we have so much. There's actually multiple companies building a variety of vocal uh, voice banks. Uh, but for us at Eclipse Sounds, we have three. And our focus mainly is to create voice banks that are incredibly versatile, that have a variety of vocal modes so that they can sing in many different ways and that they're flexible and that they have really good uh, what are they, clarity uh, on top of it all. Okay. Yeah, all right. That is actually a song that I wrote to demo Solaria, uh, one of our, our most popular. Oh, that is one of the that is a demo that I actually wrote uh, for Solaria, uh, and uh, this is just to showcase her capabilities and range as a uh, as a vocal synth. She's incredibly versatile, and that's one of our uh, best-selling uh, voice banks for the Clip Sounds. Yeah. Now, is this something that's so good uh, that you could probably just put it into a song already, or is it more for like inspiration? Oh, you, it, I feel like it could be both. Uh, the, the, uh, the awesome part about Synthesizer V is that it could be uh, it can be as detailed as you need it to be. Uh, so if you're creating scratch vocals for somebody else to sing, you can literally just input the words and be done with it. 
but if you want this to be uh, uh, like a really polished vocal for your work or for like your project, you can be as granular as you want when it comes to the pitch line. You can edit the pitch line like in percent. Like you can literally write the pitch line into those. Uh, so if you want them to be singing a specific lay way, or if you want them to scoop towards a note, you can write it in. And if you want them to be pronouncing something differently, or if you want some uh, a voice or a specific part of a syllable to stress more, you can change that. So if you want a more stressed vowels, if you want more a deeper ah, you can make that happen with with all of the uh, the editing power that Synthesizer V has. That's really great. And what is the price point for this start at? Let's see. Is it? Oh yeah. It's uh. So, okay. So Synthesizer V Studio is is about ninety, and then the voice banks themselves are eighty nine. Yeah. It's just a one-time price? Yeah, it's a one-time price. No subscriptions. Thank God. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I noticed here it says, so these are all the other voices that other companies have made as well? Because you said... Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, sweet. Uh, well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and yeah, so thank you for showing us your awesome product. Yeah. You want some stickers? I would love some stickers. Yeah. Any other cool features or upcoming news about your product that you want to tell anybody? Well, let's see. Maybe we should get like an actual, uh, let's see. No? What can we tease? What's, what's allowed? I don't know what the NDA is. <laughs> we are currently finishing up our first phase of our vocals, which would be these three here. And we are looking to go in a different, exciting direction, hopefully coming soon this year. This is Colin Mack here at the Synthesizer V Studio booth at NAMM 2024. We had a blast. We'll see you guys at the next booth.